So, now that you have agreed to those terms, you may proceed with this video. If not, get out. Okay, so if you saw the build video, you can see uh, it's a night and day difference. Uh, I think the real gray probably couldn't even hold a candle to the middle robot Damashi. This thing is just amazing. <laughs> this definitely is the definitive uh, Destiny Gundam in 144 scale. This is pretty good though. This uh, the build is pretty fun. Uh, I like some of the engineering on it, but you can see the uh, the amount of detail, the differences is night and day. I mean, <laughs> this thing just completely destroys the uh, this, uh, the model kit in terms of detail and everything. But if you do have the proper modeling skills, I'm pretty sure uh, you can make the uh, the model kit better looking than. Uh, the metal robot Damashi. And that's only if you got the skill. I think like 99% of the people out there will not be able to do it. Yeah, still, this is a fun kit uh, for you know for 25 to 35 bucks. I say this is uh, this is definitely a buy. Uh, yeah, very cool. Okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, the only reason why I actually bought this kit is for these effect parts. I tried to retrofit them onto the uh, the Gunpla. Well, that was a waste of time. It's not going to work. So, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get these on here. Uh, assuming if I can. I mean, it is designed for this, right? So, it should be able to go on here. Why am I having some issues? <laughs> of course, uh, you do have to paint some parts for it to be uh, completely uh, accurate. As you can see right here, now that I have the actual uh, Metal Robot Damashi figure out here, you can see uh, there, there's some parts that you definitely need to paint. So these parts right here, these you need to paint. Uh, and uh, I guess these parts right here, right there on the verniers these are black so you have to paint those but I think for the most part it's pretty uh, color accurate just a couple parts that you need to paint of course uh, there there's some design differences so I guess you can paint these uh, you can paint these gray if you want it to look more anime accurate I don't know if that's actually right and the knee part right here, this looks like it's gray, so I guess you can paint that too if you want to. And also these uh, front skirts. So, but then, I, I don't know. if That's that's completely up to you. And same right here, these, these parts, you can paint them gray. And somehow, the uh, the part on the back thrusters, uh, these are gray. And then these are these colors. So I, I guess you can do that. There, there's quite a bit of work to do if you want it to, uh, you know, for it to look more accurate or something um, the thing is though since this is a recolor I don't know if all the colors on this thing would be proper I'm assuming even if you get the uh, regular release it's probably got about the same amount of detail anyway so if you wanted to uh, you want to be totally anal about the whole <laughs> color accuracy thing then you got quite a bit of work to do uh, of course even on these uh, uh, the uh, long beam rifle, these parts are supposed to be red, even show it on a box, so you definitely need to paint that. Uh, other than that, I think it's quite good. It's just uh, this thing comes with no decals, zero decals. So you either gotta buy water slides, yeah, I mean, you, you just gotta buy water slides. <laughs> so that's another five bucks out of your pocket. Alright, uh, I guess we'll do a quick comparison on the accessories. We have the beam rifle here. The beam rifle is very simple, it's just two, three parts stick together. Here's a beam rifle for the uh, metal robot Damashi. As you can see, it's a lot beefier, bigger. And both of them can be attached to the back skirt. So, the beam rifle can definitely uh, plug on here, like so. 
I mean, as far as value goes, you know, uh, well, I mean, the thing is, I really shouldn't be doing this kind of comparison because one's a model kit. Uh, you get to build it, and that's the whole purpose of the model kit, is uh, you enjoy the build process, and the other one's an action figure meant to be played with. So, yeah. I mean, the build is fun. That's it. It's a great build. That's all you need to know. <laughs> uh, then it's a definitely must-buy. <laughs> because, yeah, you're buying model kits because you enjoy building model kits. If you like to play with figures, then go buy an action figure. All right, so we have the beam shield right here. Uh, yeah, it's no contest. Beam shield can be attached to the forearm, uh, the wrist. Boy. There we go. And then you attach this piece right here, like that. There we go, pretty cool. Pop this off. Because we're going to do something else with this. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we compare? We have the shield here. Uh, th the design is completely different versus the Robot Damashi. In fact, I actually prefer the model kit over the Robot Damashi. Because you just get more surface to block stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is actually very nicely done, though. I like... Yeah. I think to be color accurate, you also have to paint the back here. And then I don't like these gaps holes but yeah still pretty cool um let's see here's the uh palma fiocina here are the palma fiocina obviously uh the action figure one destroys the uh uh the model kit this thing just looks like a sh uh, super soaker is shooting water at you yeah that sucks but this thing is a pain in the butt to attach and uh, you probably would risk damaging these if you don't attach them properly. So it's got its, you know, downside too. So, there we go. What am I going to do? I was going to attach the Palma Fiocina. So I guess I'm going to attach the Palma Fiocina. <laughs> there we go. Articulation on this kit is actually not bad too. It's pretty good. I don't know what's based on. I think it might be based on the uh, Impulse Gundam. They might have just reused the mold. I'm pretty sure that's what they did. Oh, uh, what the heck. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I should have just swapped out those parts right there. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool with the Palma Fiocina. Definitely a lot more, uh, you probably get a lot use of this than that. Only wish if uh, you can take those parts off and then stick it here. Unfortunately, these, these are all molded into this thing. I think it's actually glued on. You might be able to uh, take this, pop this off if you want to, but yeah. Buy a tw uh, $25 model kit and get a $150 accessory pack for <laughs> Whee! That looks cool. Yeah. Uh, looks like all the weapons here, all his weapons are slightly undersized versus the uh, Metal Robot Damashi. You can see uh, this sword here. It's very undersized. And it's using the same uh, lousy joint as the uh, Double Sky, so these things can break very easily. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, I really hated uh, the uh, sword on the Double O Sky kit, and I think they use like the same technology, so it's it's definitely crap. So there we go. We have the uh, Aaron Dight beam sword. It's a uh, it's it's no contest. This one, <laughs> uh, this this definitely kills it. Completely kills it. Yeah. Even by the uh, uh, the design on the Metal Robot Damashi kills it. It doesn't look stupid. Like, this thing got this little stupid tip right there. I don't know if that's anime accurate or not. But to me, it looks really silly. And this handle is way too long. Yeah. I mean, just look at it. This thing looks so much more badass than this janky little thing. Okay, and then uh, we have these. Um, 
the long beam rifle or the beam cannon. Yeah, again, there's no contest. This thing looks like a toothpick. This looks like someone more proper. And I mean, they're both in the same scale, so. <laughs> there we go. Um, also, the beam boomerang. Yeah. Honestly, I think the beam boomerang on this thing is just a joke. I think we could have used a bigger beam effect part. Look at that. That's very janky, right? That doesn't look like it's going to really do any damage. But this thing right here, holy shit. <laughs> that looks like it's going to do some damage. <laughs> and plus, this doubles as a beam saver. I wish this one also come with a beam saver effect part. I mean, how many beam saver effect parts is there for Gunpla already, right? Why can't they just include one? That is stupid. Okay, well, uh, of course, $150. This is 25 bucks or 50 bucks now because it's limited edition retail, not P Bandai. Uh, we do have some poly caps left over. Uh, what else is there to do? Let's go over the articulation real quick. It's not bad. Uh, we got the uh, toe articulation right there. It's obviously a ball joint. You have no. You also have a toe bend right here. It doesn't have that weird swivel thing like the metal robot Damashi. This thing is a separate piece. That's a floaty piece. Very good. I say the articulation is pretty much on par with this guy. So that's definitely nice. Uh, and it's pretty sturdy too, so it's not like all janky and stuff. That's definitely good. Okay, so we got the double jointed knee. I, I did it and I didn't say anything about it. It's very good. We got the uh, articulation here for the thrusters. We got the front skirt, which you can... Uh, yeah, you can cut the front skirt so you can have individual front skirt. You have articulation here for the uh, side skirts. We have the thigh cut, universal joints for the hips. Got a connection point here for the body. Uh, we have this, uh, well, yeah, you have three points of articulation right there for the ab crunch, so that's really good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the attitude like I just discovered on the uh, uh, the metal robot Damashi where you can have that very nice diaphragm joint. This thing is just a straight up, it's basically a clip that goes into this part that allows it to do the ab crunch, so. You're missing a bit of articulation right there. You have a hinge for the neck. You have the uh, ball joint for the head. Uh, you have the uh, swing out shoulder gimmick. The Robot Damashi has that too. Uh, the ball joint is reversed. The ro uh, ro on the Robot Damashi, the ball joint goes into the body. This one, the ball joint goes into the shoulder. That's actually a very different design compared to most uh, high grade gunpla. Usually it's the ball joint that goes inside the body. So that I like. I like it. They change things up a little bit. But then it makes it less compatible with other kits if you want to do kit bash. Uh, unfortunately, due to that design, the arm can... Well, actually, yeah, you can still go perpendicular, so that's good. We got the bicep swivel. Obviously, you can see this is a double-jointed elbow, which is very nice. That's actually very nice. And we even have forearm swivel. That's also very different from, uh, you know, your typical gunplo. You, you don't see this kind of design a lot, so this is definitely good. In fact, this is better than the ro uh, metal robot Damashi. This thing does not have the uh, uh, wrist articulation. I don't think it has it. It looks like there's a cut there, but I don't think you... Yeah, there's, there's nothing there. So, um, at least for the forearm, this is better than the metal robot Damashi. <laughs> the wings... Pretty much the same story. You get the same type of articulation. You fold these out. Uh, they can go up. This thing can. Oh, no, no, no. It, it gets stuck right there. Uh, with these wings, it can go all the way up. Like, ridiculous. I don't think that's even accurate. But you can do that. Uh, we have the uh, gimmicks right there. Like that. And then you have these. Uh, it's pretty much the same and you have the articulation right there. Overall, very good kit. I definitely recommend it. It's a good value. <laughs> Don't want to waste your money on uh, expensive action figure. Either way, for most people, uh, even with the action figure collector, a lot of time people just don't even play with those because it's too expensive. Uh, they're just going to pose it, stick it in the shelf. So, yeah, buy the Gunpla, buy the figure if you can afford it. If you can, the Gunpla is fine. 
you're not gonna do anything you're a doll collector you just stick something on the shelf uh, this is good enough but if you're crazy about the destiny uh, you owe it to yourself to buy this guy too <laughs> yeah you know I, I'm quickly becoming a fan of this mobile suit I don't know why I think it's because the face and the wings it kind of reminds me of the Zeta yeah a uh, Zeta that doesn't transform <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.